It's another day in Mr. Beast's city hometown and today I'm just exploring the local area and architecture. This is pretty cool. It's some type of gateway plaza and there's some art here and then there's some history about the place. Uh, behind me are some open spaces. Some are corporate buildings. Others seem to be just, uh, you know, kind of rectangular corporate structured buildings, but designed for universities. That's right, the uh, East Carolina University is here. So they actually have um, a, good, a good large amount of students coming through here. And, uh, you know, I passed a few sorority houses on my way here. Seems to be like, I think one of my biggest surprises was that this is not a small area. This is not just a small town. There's a uh, large college community and just general population here. And uh, I went to a Planet Fitness the other day and there's just a lot of, a lot of young college kids there. As far as activities, I'm having a hard time finding stuff to do. Uh, I couldn't find a running club. I couldn't find a uh, improv class. I couldn't find uh, a dance class nearby. Uh, but, you know, with all that being said, I would say it doesn't mean this is like a tinsel town. There's definitely a decent amount of people to an extent. Look at this stuff here. Um, just a lot of history here. So. Uh, we got some people who uh, founded a or part of a uh, church and then here dating back to 140 years ago we have 22 African Americans gathered in the home here uh, and founded another church so a lot of history here a lot of stuff going on and I'm just gonna enjoy it and, and take it for what it is um, yeah, staying here long term though, I, I don't know if I like the lack of stuff to do. I mean, if you just want to have peace and walk around, like look at all these open paths. But in terms of stuff to do, things to meet people, outside of the college scene, I, I don't know if there's that much.